Hello everyone, this is uh, John Mike Media here for my first tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to put in a skin in R Factor 2. You've seen people in the forums asking the exact same question. How do you put a skin in R Factor 2? I mean, it's like so hard and so on and so forth. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do that. First of all, what you need is a car. I'm using this car for example. So the first thing you have to do is go into tuning. Wait for the car to load. Your car should be here, which is first sign of good news. Now, you go down to the bottom right, where, where it says car paint, and click create DIR, or which means create directory. The directory should already be made up on up on in your file. So you go back and you have to ex exit out R Factor 2 in order for this to work. So you should have either a, a couple of DDS DDS files or an a mass file. Like this one here, as I prepared earlier. Basically you have to do is you click on this and go copy your control C. Don't worry, it'll stay it'll stay there until until you copy something else. Now what you do, you go into your folder. The folder folder here is is where this skin will go. It should be under computer OS C drive. Program files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, R Factor 2, user, user Data, Player, and Settings. This is if you're running a Steam folder, or where, wherever you put you have put this. Then, then a bunch of maps and possibly a couple of cars should come up. Click on the car that you have picked. Then click on the the car that you've picked as well. As you can see the mass file is not here, but don't, not to worry. What you do now is now you press paste or control V as a shortcut. There. The mass file has come up and should be in game now. What you do now is you boot up R Factor 2. If you have so much stuff on, the, on R Factor 2, it might take a while. If not, it can be relatively easy, shall we say. Now R Factor 2 has uh, booted up. Go back to the car that you have picked to, to bring in your skin. At the moment, everything looks the same. All the skins are there, nothing's changed. But, go down to Variants, and click either to the left or right side. Your skin should now pop up. If it does, congratulations, your car is now in game. If you pick this skin as well, you can actually drive it around the track. As seen in the previous video. So that's it for this tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. See it. If any more tutorial things you want to see it popped up, make sure to leave a comment and comments in this comment section below. And I'll see you guys soon.